I think I found a pretty damn good tutorial. Um, the way that he's explaining it, and even, uh, by the way, he even... Um, who is this, by the way? Uh, this is on my other computer, BUU342. So, yeah. That is... He included in the description this folder that I could download. I see a mail reference, a player model Lua file, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is the same thing that... Yeah, I figured... It's the same as what I have down there. I already have this. Um, I'm guessing this is the other part of the player model. Uh, they also have a ragdoll um, thing, which is pretty cool. And an example texture. I imagine this is the, the male 9 reference. Um, I actually might use this male 9 for a future project, so... Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, thanks for giving me that. So let me save. I keep wanting to press command, but it's control. Alright, let's import the source engine thing. And, um, I haven't finished the tutorial. I'm gonna cut out again. And probably just go work along with it. Oh, that's nice. Um, I'm probably going to work along with it, and I'm probably going to do that off-camera because I don't want to do that all all day. That actually matches up pretty good. That Yeah, that actually matches up pretty good up until the, uh, the head. Um, I guess the neck could be a bit better, too. again okay um, so the way he did it was instead of editing it via the uh, instead of editing via the uh, uh, um, what do you call it putting the armature in edit mode, instead, he puts it in pose mode so that he has more control over how he, uh, how he edits it. And I'm starting to see what he means. So, yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. Um, and I can even do this without disturbing too much of the, uh, is that really all the bones in there? Really? That's the entirety of the bones? Also note, look look at this. This is completely different. And I think what he's going to do is apply the uh, the armature to the uh, he's going to apply the armature to the um, Let's get this nice and low so I can uh, bring it forward a little bit. I think that'll do. But um, the way he's doing it, he's just using pose mode to get the uh, armature in a nice position. And I'm starting to realize, yeah, that makes more sense. And you know what? I'm starting to re realize something else. Um, I think that's why I fucked up with the uh, the first uh, time I rigged it because it wasn't it wasn't good. Um, when I was doing it, I was just doing when I was doing it, I was like dragging it over like this, not like that, like like this, and then it was like not not doing it well. So I think putting it in pose mode actually does make it easier to edit. Um, the only weird problem is that I feel like I'm going to have to deal with this just being weird because, you know, my bo the way I rigged my body is very, very bad. Or the way, 
my proportions, the way I modeled the body, is hot garbage. So that's just <laughs> that's my that's my proportions. I mean, it's probably accurate in real life. So what are you gonna do about it? Okay, those knees look pretty good, and those feet look pretty decent. Um, I just realized my body, however, is out of alignment now. And I have to exit edit mode, or pose mode. And now I gotta move everything down. Uh, I can probably just do this. Well, I can move everything down by doing this. Uh, no, not the Windows key. There we go. There we kind of go, kind of. That's as good as it's going to get for now. Um, let's hide the male reference. And we will move this node in further. Because that... Is that what I think it is? That's biped neck. Okay. So then we want to move this one back. And I think that should make the neck work, maybe? How is it in the... <laughs> uh, it's got to be at the back of the neck. But at where the neck meets the head. So it's a very, very tight squeeze right there, but it's going to be like right there. And this has to be right here. And I have to get it as straight as possible so that when it moves, it don't have a big old stink about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That looks pretty good, I think. I'm going to move this and the clavicles down. And maybe even this. And that's going to bring everything down. And that's going to bring everything down. Great. Okay, and then I'm going to move uh, this up. And I think that should do it maybe um, I'm not certain about that it looks like the uh, the bones are higher than the actual uh, mesh so I'm gonna move those up and uh, <coughs> yeah we'll see how that goes um, that's good for now I think um, I'm going to continue on following along with the tutorial off camera because this is going to be a pain in the ass and I'll come back and do the weight painting because that's that's where it's going to get we weird and uh, the entire time I do that I'm going to eat these sour, sour jelly babies and I will be very happy mmm <laughs>